You know, they have they have my full support. It was pretty incredible. It was pretty incredible. I want to get to some other questions. Do you have another supplementary or? Uh, just out of curiosity, as Grand Ward, who do you think uh, would be a good match just in the, the other Marvel uh, uh, shows going on, like say um, in Jessica Jones or Daredevil? Like who, who do you think would be a good, uh, a good match, like mentally and physically? For Grand Ward, not not Hive, but Grand Ward. Um, again, probably Elizabeth Henstridge. Uh, <laughs> it's just no, I gotta say, man, those those feminine wiles. She's just she's got in spades. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I kind of kind of mean that, and kind of not. Uh, I, I do remember when she said, uh, "I'm gonna get you" or something like that, um, and she really meant it. Um, and it was it was much more threatening than I just did the version of. Uh, but uh, yeah, Elizabeth Henstridge. Yep. <laughs> yep for doodles, guys. Yep for doodles. <laughs> Over on the other side. Uh, hey, Brett. I uh, really like the show. Oh, and, hey, uh, thanks. Yeah, no problem. And uh, quick question: Since uh, Captain America: Civil War came out, uh, which side do you think? Uh, Grant Ward or Hive would be on? Oh, that's an easy one. He, he's not Team Cap. He's not Team Iron Man. He's Team Hive. Okay, he's got his own team, one. man. But he doesn't have to pick. This guy thinks on a global level. He's figured out a way to make normal humans into inhumans like that. And, as we see, he's got a delivery mechanism, which is a nuclear weapon. So he's thinking beyond, you can have your teams, you can fight on a tarmac, whatever, man. I'm going up in space and dropping this bomb, you know? Like, that's, that's big. He's, he's, thinking, he's thinking big. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that uh, that's, that's how he's thinking. I'm, I'm sure that, uh, that he would say, Team Hive, all the way. Okay. It's Which you guys will now be a part of at the end of this. It's just Terrence and Crystal. I see a t-shirt in there somewhere. Just saying. Team Hive. <laughs> exactly. exactly. There's a bumper sticker. Yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You need those for the back of the, the vans, you know, the families. You get the little boy and the little girl and the dog and the mom and the dad and the hive. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Or all the children are exactly the same and there's just those gnarly looking heads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. Questioner, I'm just here to make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. It does take teamwork, oh, wow. you know. We should all look out for each other like that. <laughs> One question. Do you want to order pizza? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I'm kind of peckish. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Is if you make the call, I'll, I'll definitely chip in for that. <laughs> Is that a trick question? Yes, I want pizza. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad that that I was mean, a team wrong. effort. Yes, absolutely. Well, these are tough questions. These are hard-hitting questions. You know, you don't want to go up there yourself. You want to, you want to feel supported in, in, in those. Pizza requires more than one, too. Otherwise, Always. you feel bad at the end. Always. Oh, did I eat that all myself? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I want to talk a little bit about, uh, this is somebody who was talking about the, the physicality of it all. Yeah. You have been in two of the most epic fight scenes I've ever seen on television. The, oh, the, thanks. The, the one I'm thinking of in particular was with Agent May in the, uh, it was like a wood shot, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it's like to, to choreograph and have to, you know, the, the filming process that goes into that sort of fight scene is it, I mean, did, did, that took more than a day to do, I'm sure. No, we did it in a day. One. Yeah, yeah, walk me through it. How much time you got? A day. Okay. I walk in. Um, <laughs> Brush my teeth. <laughs> right, 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 right. I wake up on the right side of the bed, not the left side. On the right side. Um, uh, we learned this choreography. Um, that was something that traveled that had, I think, three separate rooms that we were in, so we did those one room at a time. Um, 
we have stunt doubles, but uh, we do everything ourselves. Um, the amount of times they actually use the stunt double, they sometimes do like a stunt double pass. Um, as we've gone on, we use them hardly for anything. Um, that must really bother them. Well, it's it, possibly. I don't know. I think it, you know this. This is their job. I think that. And if we do our job correctly, we don't even need them. It's only when we're like, you know, um, jumping through planes of glass or uh, uh, stuff like that, that um, that they won't let us do things every once in a while. Um, but for the most part, it's it's just us. Um, we learn the choreography a couple days before we go in. We we do it um, and. Uh, we try and bring the fire, man. Um, you know, that's that's what we try and do. We trust each other as well. I remember that uh, being a significant thing, the, the fight with May, because we had done a fight earlier um, in the season, and, uh, you know, we were still sort of trying to figure things out. And by then, we had done so many fights, there was just so much trust, it was almost like we were speaking uh, a shorthand with each other. Um, and that was a, a really special thing, you know, um, to... Uh, uh, to have that kind of connection with somebody. You feel strangely like more connected to somebody after a, a big fight like that. Um, you've gone through a journey together, um, and you have mentally wanted to kill them because the character does, but, you know, never wanted to hug them more at the same time. Um, so it's, it's a cool thing. I'm That's actually really impressed thing. that Ming-Na Wen can, can do that. Oh, buddy. Repeatedly, now that I know that there aren't so many stunt doubles used, that impresses me even more. I won't say her age like, because she is a I'm, because I'm classy and she's classy, but um, I hope to be doing, you know, to be to look half that good and to be moving around half that good um, uh, when when I am a mature older woman. <laughs> You'll be a great older woman. Season four. I said no spoilers, but uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's slow. Hi, Beck. <laughs> we have a couple more already queued up. Good. Yes. Hey, Brad. Hey. Another pizza question, right? No, no, no. Not pizza. Dessert? Uh, Donuts? <laughs> no, it's a uh, behind the scenes question on uh, Shield. Is there food involved? Uh, sadly, no. I'm sorry, bud. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, so I I would sorry I would to believe that you were attached to to Ward from season throughout season one and and as you said before you're kind of upset that he ends up Hydra now and weirded out that you have to end up playing an air an inhuman made out of parasites so my question is while playing High did you miss playing Ward? Um, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. You know, I got to to originate this character. I got to create this character, and it was at a really special time in our lives, in our careers, for for all of us. You know, this these these original six, the the ragtag, these 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 guys that didn't fit in anywhere else. The you know this this group of unlikely people who were there trying to make sense of this crazy superhuman world. Um, so I got to really grow with that guy, had two and a half years with him, and I was very sad. I was very sad when, when Coulson uh, became a murderer, because <laughs> let's, let's be honest here, uh, and you know, uh, Coulson did that. He didn't have to do that. And he thought, oh, it's on Mavis, don't trip. And then what happened? Hyde comes back. His ghosts literally come back to haunt him. And uh, you know, in a way, kind of, uh, Ward wins. By losing, he kind of wins. Coulson becomes Ward in a way. He becomes vengeful. He becomes, you know, that guy. Um, so, sorry, sensitive subject. It's just, you know, sorry. Um, so I was very, I was very sad when, when it did happen. But I also knew that that was episode 10, and there was still uh, a lot more of the season to go through. And, and again, it was another, you know, when one door closes, there's uh, another that opens. Um, or it's a window, or something like that. Um, but anyway, there was another opportunity with Hive, um, so I, I got a chance to sort of um, start from scratch in a way. Um, and even though this guy looked like Ward, um, and sometimes sounded like Ward, um, he was a completely different character uh, in Ward's body. So that was, that was a lot of fun to play. It was cool.
And look at those entrances. I mean, whoo! <laughs> See that uh, line? Uh, I got confused what was going on. Where are I supposed to go? Or oh, off. Welcome to the club, man. Me too. <laughs> we were talking about entrances. We were talking about that nice old catwalk that he did in slow motion. <laughs> Woo! He's dramatic, man. Hi, he's theatrical. It's <laughs> pretty cool for you, though, because usually when a character dies on a show, the actor waves bye bye to the cast. Yeah. You get yeah. the stick. They, they kept me around. They couldn't get rid of me. Stick like tried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, Where's the mic? Where's it ended up? Oh, red shirt there, right in front. So, uh, you play an awesome villain and bring so much intensity to the show. I was wondering Thank if you. you could let us witness that and give an impression of Ward or Hyde. Do a little scene, a little solo action. Yes. I'm not sure that's in his uh, contract. Uh, we might have to pay him union scale if he does any acting. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that's true. Um, no, I, I don't even know how to begin to possibly give that kind of intensity. Um, that just sounded weird. That sounded like a phone call you don't want to get. <laughs> Hello, Batman. Yeah, 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 exactly, Batman. Um, yeah, well, um, you know, especially, I feel like also if I do it, then the camera's just gonna cut, because as we know, <laughs> that's what happens as um, soon as I'm aware of the lens. Um, so, anyway, um, I'll tell you what, I'll do an incredible impression. Um, Tuesdays at nine. <laughs> you turn on your TV, I promise. I will be there to give it an incredible impression. And it'll be this Tuesday, two hours long, just for you. Okay. <laughs> All right, who's next then? This is just a delight. This is like a sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, 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 we're doing I'm, this in an arena. I know, I know. And I feel a little bit bad that the Terrigen Crystal is happening later this evening. But, yeah, you know? I don't know, I'm, I'm, cons I'm reconsidering it. Okay. I'm not sure if that joke will go funny anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make it work. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, okay, so, Brett, I know you went to Yale. Um, as a person who's classically trained in uh, theater, I want to ask you, who is your favorite Shakespeare character? A little off topic, but I really love Shakespeare. Shakespeare is always on topic. <laughs> it all comes from I'm an English well. major, so... Ah, yes, yes. Um, well, I think that um, I was... Uh, there are so many. It's impossible. It's impossible to, to do that. It's like, which of your children do you like uh, the most? Um, and I only have one, so I guess I can't say that. Um, <laughs> um, uh, Hamlet is something that fascinates every actor um, at every stage. But also, I think that uh, the Scottish play, this is not really a stage, so I'm, uh, Can this is not really a theater. <laughs> but For those of you who don't know, there is a Shakespeare play that is it's bad luck to the point of fatality if you say the name of Play. So we, we, we just call it the Scottish, the Scottish play. play. Yes, yes. You can um, Google that and figure it out later. <laughs> exactly. I'm not taking any chances. Um, this is a stage. Exactly, exactly. Um, I was lucky enough to play this at uh, Chautauqua, and uh, it's something that I still um, think about. And um, it's, it's incredibly fascinating about uh, ambition, and there's, there's actually like bits of subtext in there about the child that was maybe had. Um, and there's just all of, it's so rich, it's crazy. But me saying, you know, Shakespearean text is rich is like, of course. Uh, yeah, Breaking Bad was a good show. Y yeah, it was, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, the sky is blue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you know, uh, I, I, sure, let's go with, let's go with this Scottish king. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I mean, I love him too. I'm yeah, not Ed, say Edmund is great too. Um, uh, gosh, there's so much. Even Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. I mean, don't you know. get me started about Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. We're Girl, let's talk about, about it. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> no, it's not going to end well. Anyways, um, <laughs> so and then Agents of Shield related question: um, How is it to work with Chloe Bennett again? She was one of the 
only actors from your original group that you hadn't gotten a chance to actually have a lot of scenes with until recently. Um, I was a huge, Bye guys. I am a huge Skyward Shipper. Mm -hmm. Don't leave. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't like my answer. I know. To that last I got that. You know, they were they were Romeo fans, and they were like, "Why didn't he?" Uh... Well, he was. A and they were his ride home. Yeah. So, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, it's hard to be a teenager in love. I know. Um, yes. Um, uh, what was it like working with Chloe? Yeah. Great. I've actually known Chloe more than any other, uh, literally longer than anyone else on the show. Um, I was part of uh, Chloe's uh, casting process. Uh, they had cast me a couple weeks before and, and obviously wanted to make sure that that chemistry was there. And so they flew me back. I was cast out of New York, so they flew me back to L.A. and uh, tested with her. Um, it's nice to test when you've already got the part. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it takes the pressure yeah, off. Yeah, it really does. Um, but I, I, I kind of knew that she had it at that point. I mean, again, they don't pay me the medium bucks for my casting choices, but I kind of knew at that point that, that she had it. Um, and, and it's been great, and it's been great too. We've got a lot of scenes recently, and it's kind of this Skyward reunion that's the most twisted version possible, and, uh, and it's just great. It's just great, you know? Um, it's, we're bringing so much different, we've grown so much as people, as actors, um, and our characters on the show have grown so much that it's almost like, you know, a very strange high school reunion that you actually want to go to. <laughs> I mean, I would go to that high school reunion, but yeah. I would probably watch it from afar, just in case. All right, all right. I'll see you there. <laughs> cool, thanks. Thank you, that was great. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Brett. Hi. Hey, Frank. Howdy. <laughs> um, so I Can I be Frank? <laughs> oh, my God. My son is Brett. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. So nice. Surely, I can answer that. Surely, that's your name, right? Absolutely. To you, sir. <laughs> Come on. You oh got God. me up. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> I am, too. Here I am on camera. <laughs> Nobody camera cut to her? Here we go. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So my sister, she wants me to tell you that you are freaking hot. <laughs> okay. I said the same thing to him backstage. I'm not surprised. Don't know why your sister isn't here, but uh, cool. She's in Manitoba. Ah, okay. I don't know where that is. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me yeah. see if I can get it out here because I'm having a bit of trouble. Um, she wanted me to ask you about the potential for introducing well known inhumans, other than Hive, of course, to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. now that the movie has been taken off the slate and the two other budget eating shows, her words not mine, have been cancelled. <laughs> Sorry, does that make sense? That was it. Oh, that's a question. That was yeah. question. I forgot to put the question in function on. Sorry. <laughs> you want to do it again? I could try. Cool, too. <laughs> okay. What about the potential for introducing well known in humans, other than Hive, of course, to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., now that the movie has been taken off the slate? and the two other budget-eating shows have been canceled. Her words, not yours. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Got excellent that's inflection. That's how you answer or ask a question. Um, great point. Good question. Don't know the answer. Um, I, I, yes. Yes. Sure. I can speculate till the cows come home. Sure. Um, yes. Potentially, there's... I guess more of a budget, I didn't think of it that way, um, but um, the, the great thing about being a part of the Marvel Universe is it's so vast. Um, and we have more recognizable characters, uh, like Deathlock, visit us every once in a while. Um, and then we also have lesser known characters uh, visit us every once in a while, um, like, like Yo-Yo. Um, you know. Uh, she doesn't have the same like name recognition. That's all I'm saying. Because um, she's really cool. I actually really like her. But um, you know, uh, we have we can pull from this vast library, and um, you know, provided they don't have their own franchise and three movie deal already going on, um, hopefully they can come and visit us on our show as well. So I think that door is always open. And one of the exciting things is you never know um, who's who's gonna turn up. And and the cool thing is too, like we started out as a show about the other guys. Um, and as we've gone on, we've gotten to see more and more uh, powered people, and now we have Inhumans, and so, you know, our, our show is, is not unaware of that, and not, not, not exploring that, that territory, so... Um, not, I, not, not? Yes, not, not, not. 
Um, and that is an example of how not to answer a question. Not uh, not. I didn't do a good job asking it, so. No, you were brilliant. <laughs> you were brilliant. Um, so that's always a possibility, and, and I certainly hope so. And uh, please give my love to your sister. I will do so. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, if anybody wants to start the question off with uh, compliments, that always does help. Thank you. Uh, hi, guys. Looking good tonight. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so my friend and I were wondering, she's the one in the front there, and she can be very embarrassed. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, embarrass away. Yeah, we get a front, oh, <laughs> really, a, a, a very nice view of, of all the embarrassment playing now. Go ahead. any TV show at all to do a crossover with, what would it be? Or a mashup? Oh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, Simpsons? <laughs> good choice. Yeah, Halloween special? Oh, come on. That'd be good. And we could do the musical episode we talked about earlier. Yeah, and also, while we're brainstorming, Hive and Lash, guys. Remember that one story we had earlier? Which, you know, killed in this room. <laughs> that is, that's just a gold mine that doesn't have any gold left. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, let's go with Simpsons. I love that idea. I have it Yeah! Absolutely. Great yeah. buddy pick. Agents of Springfield. <laughs> okay, it's working. I'll work on that. Agents of Springfield? Oh! oh. That got a groan though. Was that a good groan, like a oh, ooh, it's clever, or yeah. was it like a? Oh. Good work. Yeah, that was that was that was quite cool. Well, that was cool. <laughs> we got to do this again sometime. <laughs> Same time next year, guys. Yeah. You're on. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. Thank you. Cool. That felt like the ending point. Uh, but <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe there's, no, another there's, there's more back there. Okay. Yep. Isn't there? It is awfully dark. It is. Just have a quick question for you tonight. I was wondering if you read any comic books growing up, and if so, what titles did you like? Ooh, I read a lot of comic books. Um, Death's Head 2 is still one of my favorites. Uh, I read Lobo. I loved Lobo stuff, even though that's DC. Lobo's um, great. Yeah. Um, uh, the episode, the Spider-Man episode with uh, Carnage when he was around, um, that was quite cool. Uh, Hulk, Grey Hulk, beating up the Green Hulk. Um, anything with Venom in it, I really liked him, I thought he was super cool. Uh, I still have some drawings of him. Uh, they're not great, but... Uh, <laughs> when he's uh, acting, yeah, now you know why. Yeah, you know. Um, I remember there was a Wolverine cover that had like the slashes, the three slashes through it. Um, and I think there was one where he's like going like this, and there's a butterfly landing on his like his thing. The, the middle claw, right? The middle claw, exactly. And then, um, it, 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 oh, and Old Man Logan. Oh my gosh, Old Man Logan. Uh, of the most like, you know, in the last year, two years, I guess that's a few years old, but oh my gosh, that was so good. That was so, so cool. Um, there's, there's been a lot of them. I think it's incredible that uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has um, really um, done what they've done, because I think it's really difficult to translate a two-dimensional storybook thing that is already um, uh, kind of perfect in its own art form, and then to change that into a three-dimensional thing with you know, so many moving parts. I think that that's an incredibly difficult thing to do. And there are a lot of failed attempts along the way. <clears throat> Fantastic Four. Um, not everything, you know, you know, we're finding it. Not everything works. Not everything works, you know. We're, we're, but we're all moving forward, I think, towards, towards, you know, what we have today. And Civil War, if you haven't seen it, is like, I think, my favorite of all of the Marvel films. So if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll you know, plug a show that has a much bigger budget and a lot more time to do the things they want to do than we do on our show. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I think All that's right. it for now. All right. That sounds good. I want to know about uh, what you'd like to play if it wasn't Grant Ward and you had to be in one of those Marvel movies. Who would you like to? Oh, again, uh, just Elizabeth Henstridge, I think. Uh, 
<laughs> just really good show. I mean, um, I do hope we send her a copy of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show her about it. She knows. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, Hive has got the, the nice, like, theatrical coat and all that stuff, but there's just something about Elizabeth Henstridge in that, in that lab coat that just puts me to shame. So, <laughs> so let's go with Elizabeth. Uh, yeah. Alrighty then. On that note. On that note. <laughs> Um, thank you guys so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is my first time in British Columbia, and um, you guys have shown me nothing but love. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. It's because of you that we have a season four. This Tuesday, a big two-hour uh, season finale. Um, it's bigger and better than anything we've done. I'm not just saying that. We've outdone ourselves, and we've now made it impossible for season four to somehow top this. So we're, we're swinging for the fences on this one. I, got, I hope you guys are watching. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Woo! Brett Dalton! Yeah! Terry McChrystal! <laughs> Say goodbye, everybody. Woo! And make sure you uh, get autographs with the gentlemen. Make